Most organized four-wheel drive clubs or associations have a minimum list of requirements for each vehicle. This is done to help ensure that everyone is safe and is somewhat self-sufficient. The required items usually cover the basics that make sense for any trail ride. So, here are the basics. A full tank of gas. Driving off-road uses more fuel than on paved roads. A spare key that you can reach from outside the vehicle. Tools, including a lug wrench. This includes the usual wrenches, sockets, pliers, and screwdrivers. With more experience and more modifications, you may want to add some specialty tools for Torx head screws, snap rings, etc. Having hand cleaner and rags is always a plus. A first aid kit is always on the list. Knowing how to use the items in the kit is even more important. Basic first aid classes are available from the local Red Cross chapters and other providers. Search online for first aid class and then add your zip code. Having a medical form with you can be critical. This form lists your allergies, current medications, emergency contacts, and so on. Keep this in the glove box so someone can help you if you need it. Maps are always a good idea if they are available. GPS is nice, but phones and other devices may be inaccurate or go dead. A CB radio is a great idea so you can listen to the trail leader and know what's going on. Learn how to adjust the squelch and other features before you use it on the trail. Recovery gear is always good to carry. The basics like leather gloves, a 30-foot recovery strap, and a few D-shackles are a good start. Keep this gear within arm's reach so you can hand it out the window if you are stuck. A fully charged fire extinguisher is usually required and can be a lifesaver. Having a good quality air down gauge makes this chore a bit easier. Then there are the smaller items that are nice to have, like a cheap 8x10 plastic tarp. They're great to lay down when working under a broken truck on the trail. Having jumper cables is always a good idea. A small shovel and handsaw can mean the difference between getting out or turning around. A good flashlight with spare batteries can be very helpful even in daylight when looking under a truck. And ratchet straps are a good way to secure your cargo so it doesn't go flying around in an accident. Now for the personal convenience and comfort items. Little things like folding camp chairs and a table make lunch stops more enjoyable. Having a cell phone charger is good in any vehicle. A roll of quarters and a pill bottle are handy for air compressors and car washes. Extra food, snacks, and soft drinks are nice if a trail ride is delayed and it ends a bit later than planned. Bring a trash bag or two so you can take out any trash you create during the day. Secure the lid on your ice chest so ice and drinks don't spill. Please be warned that four-wheel drive clubs and landowners do not allow alcohol on the trails. This is for your safety and the safety of others. Even closed containers for later are not allowed. This is the law on public land, and it'll get you kicked out of most private parks. Other essentials include toilet paper, a resealable bag, a trowel, sunscreen, bug repellent, and wipes to remove poison ivy oils. Finally, a rain jacket, spare sweatshirt, or dry clothes can make the day more comfortable, especially for kids. They will get dirty. Kids and dogs love mud. So go out and have fun on the trail, knowing that you are prepared.